Welcome to the Swampcast for Wednesday. Robbie Andrew of the Gainesville Sun and Pat Dooley, of course, of the Gainesville Sun. We're talking NFL Draft because it is, of course, NFL Draft Week. And where the Gators may end up in the draft, I'm going to try to convince Robbie that I'm draft-worthy and I'm Jarvis Moss. He's going to try to convince me that he's draft-worthy and he's Deshaun Wynn. So he's got a little more work, although similar body type. Yeah, maybe a reach, <laughs> though, for but I think I well, so tell, right. me, tell me why Deshaun Wynn, Mr. Deshaun Wynn, why should I why drive I, you? Yeah. I think that my pro day time at Florida Field, when I went below you four, run? four or five, I was four or four something. That was a hand time. That, but that answered a lot of questions. I mean, okay. I know that people wonder about my work ethic. I but, do. you know, the money's on the line now. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm ready to go out and show people I can play in this league, and I think I can. Why did you some, never have a big year? Why did you never have a thousand yard year? There were some time? injuries, missed opportunity. Some coaching issues, different no. coaches. I'm just saying, you know, I played for three or four different saying. offensive coordinators. That was kind of rough, but yeah. I think I closed my my year strong. When I was healthy, I was a very productive back. Well, I like you in short yardage. I like you in that, that case, in that run against Ohio State. So you're not questioning now. my toughness? No, I think you're tough enough. I'm not sure you're um, you're elusive enough, but hey, there are backs that are that are that size and do that in the NFL as it is now. I think you're gonna. I think you're draftable. I do. Uh, now I'm Jarvis Moss. Am I draftable? You're draftable, and you're going to go high. But, Thank but you. there are you're not infallible now, Jarvis. You had only one productive season. Let's talk about the fact that you were unhealthy there for a while and yes. almost out of football. But it wasn't my fault. No, it was a, an infection. So I'm, it's not like I have an, an issue. But um, I learned a lot, and I learned how to be a great pass rusher. And I tell you, the biggest thing I learned as a as a junior was how to stop the run. Because at one point, they were even thinking about the idea that if a linebacker got hurt, of moving me to outside linebacker. Which you actually played a little bit in exactly. second scheme, so that so would definitely help. I think I learned how to be a, a better run stopper. I think that really helped my draft status. And, and I'm a great pass rusher. I'm going to get to him. So, uh, yeah, uh, you got me going in the first round. Hey, let's talk. Yeah, I do, but let's talk about your size or your lack oh, of size. So you're only you're not even 250 maybe. You, you, know, you see my belt? I've got a, plenty of size. I mean, you know, what are you talking about? Nah, you're right. Size is going to be a little bit of an and issue. And power. There's, I mean, you're, the, you need some time in the weight room still. Definitely. But this, not, am I that much smaller than Javon Curtis? No. Yeah, I think. And if you can run around people, that helps. You, you, you don't run. need to be locking up with those big tackles. Well, you look back at the Ohio State game, and and that's what they, they're, and those guys are going to get drafted too eventually. So I think, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to spend all that money right away, too. Big car, you know, have a big party. Invite Robbie and Pat, too. Well, I guess this is Sean. I won't be having quite as much to spend, but I'll have <laughs> something I would hope. So that's it for our Wednesday Swampcast. Uh, we will come back again tomorrow, Thursday. Oh, you get to be Brandon Siler, and I'm Earl Everett. And I'm not going to wear my helmet then, either. Until t Thursday, this is Pat Dooley and Robbie Andrews saying so long from the Sunshine State.